Hi guys, I'm glad you are interested in my tutorial. I am Art Invader. I am a digital artist from Germany. I regularly post art and short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to support me as an artist, I also have Patreon. There you can choose between three packages. There you have on the one hand access to the YouTube tutorial files, but also to my project files from Instagram. You can find the link in the caption. Thank you for your support. Today we create this cool 3D lettering and animate it. On my YouTube channel you can find a Cinema 4D and a Blender version of each tutorial. In the first part of the video I explain how to create the animation, in the bonus part of the video I explain how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Let's start. Extinguish the light, the camera and the cube by pressing the X button. Then adjust the working area. Go to the left end of the window until the mouse becomes A+. By dragging to the side, a new window appears. Change the view to the shader editor. Go to the top bar to add and select text. Rotate the text on the right side by 90 degrees on the X axis. Switch to the edit mode in the upper left corner. Then write a word of your choice. I choose Art Invader. Change back to the object mode. On the right side go to the green symbol with the A. Under font regular you can choose a font of your choice. I take Art Dystopia. You can find a link to the font in the caption. Enter at extrude 0.15, at depth 0.01 and at resolution 10. Name the layer inside text. Duplicate the text with copy and paste and name the second layer outside text. Enter for extrude 0.1, for depth 0.03. If the font is too thick for you, you can still adjust it with extrude. Now we create the materials, first switch to the viewport shading. Select the text inside layer and create a new material under Material Properties. Set Metallic to 1 and Roughness to 0.15. Now create a material for text outside. Set Metallic to 1 and Roughness to 0.2. Darken Base Color to 0.4. To see the effect we create now, we have to change the viewport one more time. Select world in the top bar and delete everything except the background with the X key. Then search for environment texture and paste an image of your choice into it. The graphic I use for this, I link you in the caption. Change the projection to mirror ball. At background select 1.5 at strength to intensify the effect. Then search for mapping and geometry and connect them as follows. Set the rotation on the z-axis to 75 degrees. Create a plane and scale it behind the lettering as background. Create a new material and select object in the top bar. Change the color to black with a 5% white part. Set all other parameters to zero. Now we create the animation. So that we can rotate the text perfectly, we have to center the axes first. Select the text layers and press the right mouse button and go to set origin and select center or region to center of mass. Extend the animation to 5 seconds. We have 30 frames per second, so 150 frames is exactly 5 seconds. The text is animated so that it rotates and the back part is only visible for a short time, otherwise it is mirrored. First select both text layers. Set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. For this use the dot icon in the bar. 
Move the slider to frame 50 and rotate the text until you see the edge. Now move the slider to frame 100 and rotate the font until you see the edge on the other side. Now move the slider to the end of the animation and finish the whole rotation. As you can see the beginning is not animated. I don't know why, but you have to move the slider back to the beginning and rotate the text to the starting position. If we move the animation now, the text rotates 360 degrees around one axis. This corresponds to a complete rotation. The more you drag the keyframes in the middle to each other, the faster the not important backside rotates. Finally we set the camera to render the animation. Under Output Properties choose 1080 by 1080 pixel. Now we go to the Render Properties and set a check mark at Ambient Occlusion and at Bloom. At Bloom we set Threshold to 0.18 and Knee to 1. The animation is ready to render. Press the keys Ctrl plus F12 for it. That's it. Well done. Now comes the bonus part where I show you how I edit my animation with Adobe After Effects. Double click in the project window to sort the animation. Drag the animation into the animation window. Look for hue slash saturation in the effects on the left side. There you set the value for master saturation to 20. Then search for chromatic glow. At Preset select Source Glow. At Threshold select 0,9. At Height Light cut off 0,59 and at Threshold Blur 4. The effect creates additional reflections on the text. Then search for the effect Echo. Select 0,030 for echo time, 5 for number of echoes and 0,5 for decay. Set also the echo operator to maximum. With the help of this effect a light tail is created during the rotation. Then look for the effect noise to animate the background slightly as well. Set amount of noise to 20 and remove the check mark at use color noise. To give the animation more character I work with overlays. You can find the overlays in the Google Drive folder. Drag the scratch overlay into the animation window and place it optimal on the animation. Set the blending mode to lighten. Press the T key and set the transparency to 30%. Repeat the whole process for the overlay cover. There you set the transparency to 50%. That's it, the animation is ready. Well done. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.